Hey guys, Mike here. So today's cult classic review is 1995's 12 Monkeys, starring Bruce Willis as James Cole. So 12 Monkeys is set in the none too distant future, where a disease has wiped out most of the population of Earth. And a convict is sent back in time to find out where this disease originated from, so the humans can take back the surface world. And so we have 12 Monkeys. So guys, this is a movie in this series that before reviewing and watching it today, I had not seen it before. Though this was another one that I'd heard really good things about it going into it. So, what do I think of 12 Monkeys? So first of all, let's just talk about Bruce Willis. Again, this is another movie where Bruce Willis is at the height of his powers. Late 80s, early 2000s, Bruce Willis was king at this point in time. And again, this is another character for him that is definitely serviceable. He's likeable enough, he's interesting enough to make you want to keep watching him. And I'd say he shows off a lot of good acting chops in this one. But for the most part, this is a pretty bug-standard Bruce Willis performance. The character is very Bruce Willis. But as for the movie itself, again, this is another case of an interesting story with great world building. Though I'd say my biggest issues with 12 Monkeys comes from presentation, structure, and explanation. Because right from the get-go, you know 12 Monkeys is going to be a little bit convoluted because time travel's involved. A lot of movies do their best to try and keep time travel stories simple enough so the audience knows what's going on. But the main thing with time travel films is that when you start to think about it, that's when it becomes quite convoluted. And I'll get to the convolutedness of the actual time travel theory, but... My main issue comes from how this is presented in the movie. Because i got to say, this is definitely one of the worst showcases of time travel that I've seen in a film. Not necessarily with how the time travel is done, but more how it's first showed in the film. Because in one scene, they're talking to Bruce Willis about the mission, then the screen fades to black, and then all of a sudden we're introduced to these new characters, new setting, and then we see Bruce Willis's character chained up, and you're just like, what the hell is going on? I had to actually rewind the film to make sure that I didn't miss something. And for a good 20 to maybe 30 minutes, they do not explain how he got there. And they just left the whole thing very open-ended. But then, later on, when he again goes back in time, they show the method of how it's done. They show him going into the time machine, and then him going to the past. But honestly, I found this was just such an easy fix. All they needed to do was show how the time machine works for the first time he goes to the past, and then after that, you can just leave it all to being implied. But no, they made the whole thing needlessly complicated. And the only reason I knew what was going on is because I knew the premise of the movie. If you went into 12 Monkeys completely blind and didn't know what the premise of the film was, you'd be completely lost. I know it's implied that you need to have some basic knowledge of a movie before you go into it. But still, I thought this whole thing was handled very shoddily. And 12 Monkeys time travel theory runs on the fact that Everything always happens at once, and you can never change the past or the future. Because there are scenes in 12 Monkeys where he's given a piece of information, but then he finds out that the only reason he has that information is because he went back in time and made those things happen. Thus entering the whole complicated time travel loop of everything always happening at once. But I did like that 12 Monkeys was trying to set up this thing that Bruce Willis didn't know which reality was real. Because there are points in 12 Monkeys where Bruce Willis doubts that he's even from the future. And this would be a really interesting point of conflict for the character, if 12 Monkeys didn't already set up the fact that this is all definitely happening to him. Because I'd say the point where this theory kind of falls apart is when he accidentally gets sent back to World War One. Because in the past, he ends up getting shot in the leg, he goes back to the future, and then back to 1996, and the bullet is still in his leg. And if 12 Monkeys didn't set up all this evidence saying that he was from the future, this might have worked, but because it did, this whole inner doubt thing just didn't work for me. I just ultimately found the ending to be very lackluster because I found the initial lack of information really distracting and it kind of just carried on for the whole film for me and thus ruined my overall enjoyment of 12 Monkeys. I would say this is one that you definitely need to watch twice to kind of figure out everything that's happening but honestly I wouldn't want to watch this one again. So guys would I consider 12 Monkeys a personal cult classic and would I recommend that you guys should see it? Honestly guys I didn't really enjoy this film all that much and I would not put it as a personal cult classic nor would I even say it's one of my favourite movies of this series and i'd say the only reason i would recommend to watch this film is because this one is a definite cult classic and i can see why people love this one so much it's just i wouldn't put my personal seal of approval on this one there are better time travel movies out there that you should watch rather than this one okay guys that's my cult classic review of 12 monkeys do you love it do you hate it whatever you think drop it in the comments below until next time i've been michael see ya